Yeah, Hollywood him. Uh, uh, already famous. Hit the pole, baby girl, take it all off. Shake it hard, try to make your ass fall off. They said they getting money over there, we getting money over here, so we can we can have a ball off. Ball off, we can we can have a ball off. Ball off, we can we can have a ball off. They said they getting money over there, we getting money over here, so we can we can have a ball off. You feel like in the future, because you've definitely come up from that time. You know what I'm saying? With everything, you know what I'm saying? Your resume is squeaky clean now. Yeah. So do you think now you can walk in a room with Meek and be like, come on, like let's go finish that video? Um, I, I know Meek kind of want to like... I know, but uh, you know, you, you, right, you in the me same me room with everybody. Me and Meek got a good relationship. Like, we be happy when we see each other. Right. Like, you know what I mean? But like, you know, I'm just not around him on a regular no more. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I used to be around him, though. Because like the whole time I was uh I was living with Oskino. Mm -hmm. That's my cousin and shit. Um... Oskino and Meek had a real good yeah, relationship. Bond, so yeah. I was in the studio with Meek like consistently, like all the right. time. That's probably stuff that people don't know. People, a lot of people didn't probably even know that I was part of Major Figures. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't know that. So <laughs> now, you know so, so it's like I did a stretch before when I um I came home and Gilly put me on Get Down on the Grill, mm -hmm. and I ain't never looked back since. Nominated for Best New Solo Artist after that. Um, we was nominated for Best New Record Label. We won that. Um, Philly Hip Hop Awards. Shout out to Philly Hip Hop Yeah, Hip -Hop man. Awards. Shout out to them. And um, like, I've been I've been on a move ever since, man. Every Everything. Like, just non-stop. Non-stop work. Trying to catch fire. So, you, you got to keep working until you catch fire. Right. You know what I'm saying? What do you feel like is one thing that people don't know about you? That's like, something that's like, yo. That helped a lot of people. I helped a lot of people along the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I helped a lot of people. Like, I inspired, you know, a, a lot of big people. Right. Like, and I feel like it's paying off for you. Yeah, I definitely. In its, in its own little way. Motivated and inspired a lot of people. I helped a lot of people from producers to artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely always help who I can. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always um, took my hat to people like Trap Beckham. We got a record together right now. And um, it seemed like a lot of times it'll take people from like other areas to really, really try to help you get on. Like, right. I done performed at the arena already right. with Trap Beckham. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, how did y'all link up? Glock Aware Radio. Glock Aware Radio? Glock really? Shout, Shout out, out to Glock Aware. Wow. That's how we link. That's how we link. I even opened up on a tour for uh, P and B Rock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Even I ain't performed in every last city, but like I um I did get the opportunity to open up for him. The first city was like Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm. So that was a good vibe. Shouts to Mont, you know what I'm saying? Uh Mahoney. You know, they, they definitely helped me with all that. So uh I didn't wanna get off track, but now I wanna know about your what's the most What's the most oddest place that you've been to and that's shown you the most love? Like, me, for, for for example, I went to South by Southwest for the first year. Definitely did South like, by Southwest. Like, a couple of years good. ago. And 18. It, yeah, and it was like, I was getting mad love down there. So you've yeah. been to multiple cities. Yeah. So what's like a city you've been to that like people were just showing you mad love that you didn't really expect it? Like, recently when I went to New York, I had like, I had a, um, a show with... Uh, it was Tony Yayo and mm -hmm. um, DJ All Star. Okay. DJ All Star, pretty big out there. He, um, I had people actually waiting to meet me. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was kind of in New York. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially because that's the city. I, I actually just showed showed that love back. Like you know what I'm saying? So that that was kind of dope. I it, it seemed like every city I go to, like like is, I don't know if it's just like social media. Mm -hmm. But like, come through and people like, yo, they go Hollywood, like you know what I'm saying, like right, stuff like that. Actually, me and my son, we was we was downtown one day in uh, <laughs> like Third and Market, and uh, we was about to go on a club, three twelve, and uh, <laughs> white girl was like Hollywood, him, <laughs> she just started started tipping, like you know what I'm saying. Wow. But like, the popularity is, is is getting crazy. Miami showed a lot of love. Texas 
what I'm saying? Um, how about then, the Grand Rapids um, stop? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Grand Rapids was a vibe. Definitely showed love out there. They was chasing, chasing the tour bus and all that. Like, what? Yeah. In Grand Rapids? Shit, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. crazy. Nah, that shit. That shit, be, that shit be like the life, man. That shit like, like some shit you can't explain. Right. And like even even um like now it's like this 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 whole life is this music business is like some expensive shit like all yeah, the more like you know what I'm saying so, uh, and until you really really hit it big like you gonna be spending you gonna be spending bread like you know what I'm saying.